Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To insert a control, click into the place in the form where you want to insert the control. Then click the button in the Controls button group on the Developer tab in the ribbon that corresponds to the type of control you want to insert. After inserting the control, select it to edit its properties. To set the properties of a control, click it to select it. To completely select an entire control, click the small handle that appears in the upper left corner of the control when you roll your mouse pointer over it. Then click the Properties button in the Controls button group. This will open the Content Control Properties dialog box, where you set the properties for the selected control. The properties available to change will vary depending on the type of control selected. For all controls, some properties will remain constant. The properties in the General and Locking sections are the same for each type of control. In the General section, enter a title for the control into the Title text box. The title will display in the small tag in the upper left corner of the control in the form. If you want to surround the control with a tag, enter the name of the tag into the tag text box. If using Word 2013, use the Show As drop-down to choose how to display the control in the form. You can choose Bounding Box, Start slash End Tag, and None. None will hide all of the control's appearance except for the content itself. For Word 2013, you can also select a color for the control by making a choice from the Color drop-down button. In all versions of Word, for any control except the Picture Content control, you can check the Use a Style to Format Contents checkbox. This will choose a Word style to apply for, to the control contents. If you check this checkbox, then select the name of the style to apply from the Style drop-down. In the locking section, set the level of protection to apply to the selected control. To protect the individual controls, check either or both of the check boxes in this section to apply control security. The choices are Content control cannot be deleted and Contents cannot be edited. Next you will learn about the type specific properties you can set for the different types of controls. If you have a rich text control selected, then in the rich text properties section of the content controls property dialog box, you will see the option to remove content control when contents are edited. If you check this checkbox, the control itself will be replaced by the contents that the users entered into the control when it is used in a form. This contrasts with the default method of replacing the content of the control with the new content. Note that this is also an option in the Plain Text Properties section. In addition, you have the Allow Carriage Returns or Multiple Paragraphs option available in the Plain Text Properties section. If checked, this allows for multiple paragraphs to be entered into the Plain Text control when used in a form. If you have a drop-down list or combo box selected, you will see a list of possible choices for the control appear in the drop-down list properties section. To add a choice to the list, click the Add button to open the Add Choice dialog box. Here you can enter the value to display in the list in the Display Name text box. Then enter the actual value to use and store it in the Value text box. Click the OK button to add it to the list. To modify an entry made in the list, select a choice, and then click the Modify button to open up the Modify Choice dialog box. Here you can edit either the display name or the value fields and then click the OK button. To remove a choice, select a choice, 
and then click the Remove button. To rearrange the order of the choices, select a choice to move, and then click either the Move Up or Move Down button. If you have a date picker selected, you will see a listing of the possible display formats of the table and time available in the date picker properties section of the content control properties dialog box. Select a date format from the choices shown in the scrollable list. If needed, you can also set the locale and calendar type by using the drop downs available. You also have a choice as to how you want the XML data to be stored in the Store XML Contents in the following format when mapped drop-down. Here you can select what format you want the stored data to have if needed. If you have a building block control selected, you will see additional properties in the Document Building Block Properties section. Here you select which gallery of building blocks you would like to have available from the gallery dropdown. If desired, you can further refine the selection by choosing a category from the Category dropdown. If you have a checkbox content control selected, you will see additional properties in the checkbox property sections. Here you can click the change button next to the checked symbol or unchecked symbol shown to open the symbols dialog box and then select a new checked or unchecked symbol to use. If you select a new symbol for either setting then click the OK button to apply it. Once you have inserted your control and set your properties for the control Click the OK button in the Content Control Properties dialog box to apply them. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.